Yo, what is up, YouTube? James Beck here. Welcome back to another episode of VGC 2019. Back to work battles today. We are continuing to use the Mega Mad Jam team Mega Mad Jam, uh, Tapu Koko, Tapu Lele, Kyogre, Lunala, and Nyligo. If you haven't checked out the previous episode, highly recommend go checking it out. But we are using the team that Graham used to get second at the North America International Championship. And continuing on with this team, this team has been doing pretty all right so far. And let's see if we can continue to uh, tackle on and maybe pick up some more victories, hopefully. But very hyper offensive team. Been doing some pretty nice work overall. Uh, Top of Coco on this team definitely has seen more usage, thankfully, than the Top of Coco on the previous team when we used Hirofumi's team. I don't think we brought Top of Coco at all. If we did, it was probably like once, and we never got to use it. So <laughs> I'm really glad that the Top of Coco is shining a bit more on this team. Uh, really wish we get to bring the Medicham more. We haven't really brought the Medicham as much as I would like. But I feel like the matchups have called for other Pokemon. So hopefully we're going to be able to bring Medicham. I'm hoping to just click high jump kick and do some work. So hopefully Mega Medicham will get a chance to shine. But otherwise, we'll continue on, play some more games, and hopefully it can shine. Because we still have, including this video, we should have, I want to say it's four more, including this video. I think the last episode was the third episode with this team. Yes, it was. So this is the fourth episode. Then we have three more after this, as we got Star Bay from Mexico, 1602 rating, to kick things off here with the standard Zernon team. Dang it. <laughs> Why do we keep facing this? Uh, all right, we got the Lele, the Lele, the Moongus, the Groudon, Salamence, and Cineroar Zernia. So this looks like a standard. Um, team that we've been seeing a lot with the Lele over the Feeny, but Lele is, you know, still a popular option on this team. Hmm. I feel like Lele and Lunala is the better play here. Uh, the problem is Lele uh, interferes with the Nile Eagles work. So even though we have Focus Sash, it's not exactly the greatest option since we can't even knock out the Lele, unfortunately. So we'll go the Lunala here. We'll go the Lele. We want a magic room up because my opponent doesn't like magic room. We'll go Kyogre and we'll go Ligo. Yes, so we'll go with these Pokemon. See how it goes, but this is definitely, definitely a scary team. Especially, I think, if Xerneas plus Incineroar leads. I think that's the scariest lead for, uh, that my opponent could offer. Xerneas and Incineroar, I think, is definitely the scariest lead my opponent could offer. Because of the fact that... There is the Z move potential and the chance to get a lot of damage into my Lele. So we'll see how this goes. Maybe my opponent won in Geo if that was the case. If you're going to lead uh, Insin plus the uh, Xerneas, maybe the Kyogre Nidalego wasn't a bad option, or maybe just Nidalego in general. But I do want a Magic Room up, and I think Lele is just safe in general. A magic Room is very good against my opponent's team, too. Uh, we do see Xerneas and Sinnoh out. Um, am I just Psy shocking here? Maybe I just Z. And Magic Room. Yeah, I think I'm gonna Z in Magic Room. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Because even if Xerneas protects and then Sin goes for the, uh... Z move into Nile into the uh, Lunala. At least I don't lose to worst case scenario. I think at least I get chip damage into Xerneas and get rid of its uh, power up. So I think I'm just gonna go for the uh, Magic Room right off the bat. <laughs> I should just let Nile go. Nile go was a good lead here, because uh, I could have played like Moon Moonblast into Power Gym, knock out the Incineroar. There were like a lot of things I could have done. Although I don't have Clear Smog on my Nihiligo, which is definitely the thing that's scaring me the most about this team. Clear Smog would just make the Xernon matchup a lot easier because I don't have to Magic Room to uh, deny the Xerneas to Geomancy, which is something I like about it. Xerneas is going to protect, so I'm guessing it is going to be that Z into protect. But there's not much I could have done. Maybe I could have Tailwind it up, which, you know, wouldn't have been the worst play, but I don't think it's my best play here. So let's see what my opponent does here. Oh, yeah, we went for the Z move in the turn. It's just for some chip. Okay. All right, strap on on. We're going to do 
I want to say 20% to Desernius. I mean, we're not in a terrible spot by far, but obviously it's not exactly how you want to start things off. Um, especially depends on the ground on the back. We don't know if it's physical or special, and that's really gonna that's really gonna determine some factors here. If we had psychic on Zern on the Lele, ooh, that would be so good here. But unfortunately, we have Psy Shock, so can't exactly rely on. S wow, that did less than I thought. Is that slow, bulky Zernius? Because usually that does twenty. Yep, Z move from Insen. I target my Nihiligo. I mean my my Lunala. I'm bringing out Nihiligo afterward. Like this is what I assumed would happen, but what could I do? I think that Nihiligo is more important. I could switch out Lunala easily, but yeah. At least I get a double up into the Incineroar slot, and I should either pick up a knockout or just a ton of damage in general. So I think we're still okay here. Maybe I acid spray Moonblast the Xerneas slot, or do I just acid sp Because either way, I'm not picking up a knockout, that's the thing. Like, I just can't pick up a knockout. So I'm gonna go Nihiligo. The question is, who do I attack here? I'm worried about the instant switching out into, like, Amoongus if my opponent has it. Although, I don't think- no, nah, I don't think you bring Amoongus. I think I get a Power Gem plus a uh, Moonblast into that slot. I want to say that should knock out Instant too. Because Fairy Aura. I guess Xerneas could switch out, but that's not too bad for me. Let's see what comes out from my opponent. Like, I'm going to have to capitalize a lot on these Magic Room turns. Xerneas is going to retreat here. Is that the Groudon? Yeah. Okay, so that's fine. Like, I got to KO everything around the Groudon, and then I should be able to win with Kyogre Water Spot Suite, which is what I'm going for. I'm just really worried if Salamence is in the back. Salamence makes this game troublesome because <laughs> Groudon next to Xerneas under tail and seems super scary for my team to handle as well if it's physical Groudon. Because I don't know if it's physical or special. Um, but let's see if we even knock out the instant because we don't have Fairy Aura anymore, which is a change. But we do a lot, so that's offensive instant. Yeah, that's offensive for sure. Nice. Get rid of the instant. So that at least is one mon down, which is good for us. I wonder how much side shock does to this ground. I'm probably not much. Hmm. What's coming out though is the question. Like we don't know what Pokemon's in the back. Could definitely be the Salamence, which is probably the Pokemon I'm scared of the most. Amoongus is not a threat to me. Um What's the other Pokemon that could come out here? Even if it's Xerneas, it's fine. What's the other Pokemon? It's standard Xerneas. Why can't I remember the last Pokemon? <laughs> I'm blanking out on the last Pokemon. Well, Xerneas comes out. Okay, what was the last Pokemon that could came out? Salamence, Amoongus, or... Obviously Xerneas, but... Actually, is there another one? Am I just being dumb? Oh, Lele, right. I wouldn't have been scared of Lele. Okay. I'm going to protect here, go for the, uh... Psy Shock in the Xerneas. I don't really... I don't really mind Lele going down. I get a free switch in Ogre, and I think that's just so beneficial here. Um, if Xerneas protects, Groudon goes for Blades and doesn't knock out my Lele, this game gets interesting real fast. And by interesting, I think we'd lose. Potentially, unless we get a double. Uh, let's see here. I want to try to KO everything around the Groudon. I feel like getting chip damage into Groudon doesn't matter. Moonblast, smart play into the ladder. I think it's unnecessary to Moonblast, but okay. Special attack drop. That's annoying, because I I think that would have put this um, Xerneas in range. Oh, well. Psy Shock. I think it would have put in range of Acid Spray. Oh, man. That's annoying. That is annoying. I'm going to go Kyogre here, I think. I'm going to Psy Shock the uh, Xerneas. Yeah. Because I can't afford... Like, if Gleam comes out here and I knock out the Xer... I just don't think I knock out the Xerneas here with Acid Spray is a problem. So I think I'm going to have to take ch chip damage with my Ogre, which is unfortunate. But I feel like it's the best play. Um... I need Nihiligo to keep its sash around, and I need Ogre to have a chance here. 
Oh, this could be really bad. That special attack drop actually really hurts. <laughs> Without the special attack drop, I think I could just went for Acid Spray and switch into Groudon. I mean, Kyogre. Or I could just sack Lele, because Lele's not really worth it. But I would probably hard switch since it's Earth Power. Moonblast comes out once again. Okay. All right, I'll take that trade, I guess. It's not that bad of a trade for us. Okay. Our power comes out into the uh, Kyogre. At least it wasn't a Gleam. Ah, thank God, no special attack drop. All right, we're going to get in our Nihiligo here. I think my opponent has to go for a switch with Groudon, so I'm going to click Origin Pulse into that slot. Yeah, I'm clicking Origin Pulse. And an Acid Spray into the Groudon slot. Because I don't think Xerneas can risk anything right here. Like, I don't think it can. I'm, I don't think my opponent should stay in with the Groudon. Xerneas, I think, tries to protect because you could try to attempt to Geo. Uh, we're going to see Protect. Okay. Is the Groudon protecting as well? Okay, that's an interesting trade because next time I can go for the Origin Pulse. And Acid Spray into the Xerneas and guarantee a knockout. Hmm. I wonder what my opponent's play was then. Also, it, I feel like the Xerneas might not have Moonblast. Alright, so I can disappears. Not a surprise. I want to say Origin Bull should knock out the Xerneas at that range, but better to be safe than sorry. But whatever switch my opponent has survives. So I think it might be worth risking here. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to go for the Acid Spray and an Origin Pulse. I don't know if you Geo here. I don't think you do. But even if you Geo, maybe I can knock out the Xerneas at the range it's at. But I'm for Special Attack. Timid. Oh, this is going to be close. Also, I don't know if the ground staying in. But then if the ground stays in, I have to win a Speed Tie, I think. And hit the Origin Pulse. Looks like that is my opponent's play here. So I wonder what the last Pokemon is. Is it Salamence? Maybe it's Lele. Maybe my opponent's going for a Lele endgame. Boomblast. That has to be Ogre, right? Yeah, okay. <sighs> we hit, okay. <laughs> oh, oh boy. If we if we missed, that would have been really bad. Game's not over yet though. Game's not over. If it's, I think we do seal it up though. Because if it's Lele, we click Acid Spray, Origin Pulse, it is Lele, okay. So this works out in our favor. Because we could go for Acid Spray and we can go for Origin Pulse. We're guaranteed at least one Acid Spray. And an Acid Spray and another Acid Spray should knock out Lele, I would assume. Question mark? Maybe I just protect Ogre, just in case. I'm going to protect Ogre. I think my opponent has to go for Acid Spray, not KOing the Lele. I'm going to go for Acid Spray and Psy Shock. Because my opponent should know I don't have Sludge Bomb, so I think you have to risk it. Or are you going to risk a miss? No, my opponent does risk uh, Ogre. Okay, perfect. So I win the game 100% now. I think I did have it sealed up. Oh, yeah, Acid Spray did too much. Okay, never mind. Uh, I could just ask spray an ice beam, realistically. Yeah, I didn't expect acid spray to do that much. I thought the first acid spray might have done thirty, and then thirty percent, and then the next one doing sixty. So I might have missed a knockout, but yeah, this a hundred percent seals it up. So Sash shot gonna come out in an Iligo, break me to my sash, but acid spray once again will seal this up. Uh, I wonder if ice beam would have knocked out the lele at this range. That's the only thing I'm wondering. Because if uh, Ice Beam knocked it out, I'm pretty sure that was 100% win con then. But again, I didn't think Acid Spray would do that much. But then again, it's super effective, and uh, Nihiligo does have a pretty high base special attack stat. So I guess maybe not the most unbelievable story. So we are able to pick up a win, though, which is the main concern. So turn one basically played how I expected it to. Like, I don't think I got the worst case scenario in that, because that Magic Room was very helpful. Denied Lele its Scarf option, denied the uh, Xerneas from Geomancing. And yeah, luckily, I'm guessing it was a good on speed tie. Glad we won that speed tie. Could have made things complicated. If it was Earth Power and a Kyogre, though, I think the game 
like it didn't change anything. If it's Earth Power and Night Legal, then it changed the game. <laughs> then it changed the game. <laughs> but my opponent went forward, so yeah. Not much to say. Mm, what song do I want to pick? Not sure. I'll go with this, but yeah, unfortunately, we haven't brought the Medicham. Hopefully, we get to bring the Medicham in this upcoming battle. I would really love to bring the Medicham, but overall, I think. Glad I put in the work. I think we just had the game 100% secure, though, if um, we didn't get special attack drop. Luckily, um, we were still able to pull it off because my opponent didn't click Geo. Um, I didn't think my opponent would Geo there, realistically, because. <laughs> Uh, it could have been very likely I went for Acid Spray there. I wonder if Acid Spray would have knocked up the Xerneas at the range. I don't think it would have. I was really worried about Endgame with Salamence too, because I was really worried about uh, Earthquake Salamence sweeping me in the Endgame, because that could have been super scary. I think that was like the scariest Endgame I was thinking of. Uh, we got Calvin though from the United States, 1579 as our last opponent. Pretty much a similar team. You got the similar cores of, uh, the Lele, the Tapu Koko, the Lunala, and Kyogre, but you have the Mungus and L uh, Lopany, which changes the dynamic a lot, actually, because uh, that kind of makes it troublesome. <laughs> um, we played a mirror in the last episode. Um, I feel like we play it dissimilarly. The only problem is the Lopany changes the game dynamic because of its. The thing is, the Lopany is super fast. Hmm. The thing is, if I lead Lele, <laughs> if I want to lead Lele Lunala, we would go for the Lunala speed tie. But I think I'm going to go Coco Lunala with Ogre and Lele. Magic just doesn't do anything in this matchup. No, it doesn't. And Nihiligo again. Doesn't do anything to the Tapus, even if it's got super effective as spray. Just doesn't do enough quickly. Uh, Z move is going to be the Lunala, most likely. You got the Mega Stone on the Lopany, Blue Orb on the Ogre. Trying to figure out the rest of the sets. Probably Scarf on Lele. I want to be surprised if it's Z on Coco, but maybe uh, Assault Vest is another option. Let's see here. This is definitely going to be a hard one. Trying to figure out what are my options. Coco Lunala. Amoongus Lunala, okay. I could go for Sky Drop into the uh, Lunala. That sounds like a terrible play. Actually, no, Sky Drop avoids the Rage Powder. But the thing is, Kai Amoongus could always go for the... Uh, uh, this is troublesome. Because I could Sky Drop technically in Psy Shock. Which isn't a terrible play, but I don't do I don't get the knock on Amoongus. I electro up here. Hmm. I think I electro up in Sack Lele. No, Sacking Lele is bad. I think I'm gonna go Ogre actually. Yeah, I'm gonna go Ogre here. Because Ogre is expendable, I feel like, out of all mons, because it doesn't outspeed anything. Le Lunala does a lot of work with Tailwind if I uh, set it up correctly. But I feel like just Kyogre doesn't do much other than damage, but it's hard to stop the damage in the first place. I need Electrowebs and matching speed control here, and I don't feel like that's possible. If I Sky Drop to Lunala, there's a chance my opponent could get Tailwind up the following turn. Um, yeah, this is not good here. This Amoongus is making it very difficult for me to set up. So I wouldn't be surprised to just see a um, a Tailwind here from my opponent. How do I think he would Z here? And I don't think I don't want to Sky Drop Z turn one and go for the Speed Tie. It just it's just not me. So yeah, there's a Tailwind there. Um, still not a bad trade here though. Cause Z doesn't knock out either one of my Pokemon. So I'm gonna Electro once again. I'm going to go for an Origin Pulse because unless the uh, Lunala protects and the uh, Moongus has Grass Knot, my pawn doesn't capitalize too much here. So I'm going to go for Electro up here and Origin Pulse. Even if you Z, both my Pokemon should live. I'm assuming Coco is with the Assault Vest. I'm hoping it does. If it doesn't, we have some problems. We do have some problems. But let's see. 
Because I really need... I really need Coco around. Alright. Moon rays. It isn't a Coco. Please live, Coco, because... We're in a really bad position if you don't live. <laughs> We're in a very bad position if you don't live. Um, maybe it's not the worst, actually, because I could get my own tail end up. But I think Coco should live. Nice. Coco does live. So we get another Electro Web off. We hit, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We're able to get the Lunala to minus two. We get the Amoongus bit more chipped which is nice but mainly we get the Luna uh, down to minus two. Origin Pulse is gonna come out. Nice beautiful damage. And it is a Grass Knot coming out but that's fine okay it wasn't Protect Grass Knot which was the worst. Um, now I could go for a bunch of different factors here. I could go for a Wild Charge if I want to. Don't think that's a play. I could go for a... I could go for a Sky Drop into the... Uh... Let's see, two turns of tail and left. I might as well just sky drop the Lunala on my opponent's side. And I do want an origin pulse. Or do I ice beam? Actually I could let Coco go down. Nah. I'd rather just Ice Beam here, the Amoongus, and try to get rid of it, because the redirection's annoying. I'm going to Sky Drop the Lunala to prevent it from moving this turn. Yeah, I think it's fine here. Uh, we get an Ice Beam off in Amoongus, which I don't know if it knocks out. It does knock out, which is actually pretty nice. So I get rid of Amoongus. Lunala is basically almost uh, worthless. And my opponent has the last turn of Tailwind, and I can protect Ogre and sack my Coco, which is beautiful. Because then my Kyogre has piece of Lunala, which is great. So let's see what comes out here. If it's the Coco, it's fine. If it's the... Let's see. And I wish it Gleam here. Gleam actually would do work here for once. Um, Coco is going to come out. Not too surprising. I want to scout what set it is. I'm going to Protect. We're going to drop Lunala. Lunala is going to do something. Because it gets one turn to move. Then next turn we could double up the Lunala slot. Most likely I'm going to get a free switch. Which is what I'm expecting. Wild Charge is going to come out. Okay, so it's physical. So most likely it is the AV set. Sky Drop going to come out. Doesn't knock out Lunala. Which I'm not surprised about. But it is going to be a Moon Geist Moon coming out. Tarting down the Coco. Alright, so not too bad, not too bad. I could go my, uh, I could go multiple things here. Trying to think which one's the best option. I'm thinking my best option is to go Lunala here and attempt Tailwind. Or just attack the Lunala. You think Ogre would live a wild charge? I don't think it would live a wild charge. I think it's better to go Lunala here. Even if Kyogre goes down, it's a fine trade, I think, for me. I'm gonna Moongeist. Nah, Psyshock's better. Psyshock is better. And Origin Pulse. Because I'm worried about if the Coco Sky drops in my Lunala. But it's Electro Up, okay. So not that bad of a trade. Because I'm going to get rid of both of these Pokemon, assuming I hit. I don't think I'll knock out the Coco, actually, with Fortune Pulse. But it'll do a lot. Alright, get rid of the Lunala, which is nice. We're going to get rid of this Coco, hopefully. Nice, we hit. That's a lot of damage. Not a knockout, unfortunately. The end game's a little bit tough because Kyrie is going to come in. Electro was good on my opponent's side. But there is no electric terrain, and if you wall charge, you lose to Coco. So, I don't know. This game is still up for grabs. I feel like I lived, though, with Lunala. 
Oh, I don't have protect. That changes. That changes the dynamics so much. Oh no, that changes the dynamic a lot. I forgot this Luna doesn't have protect. That wasn't part of the game plan. Ah. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna protect Kyogre here and go hard into Lele. I need a sack. Actually, I should have sacked Kyogre, I think. I just feel like you Electro Web Water Spout. Or maybe you Wild Charge into Lunala? Or Madness. I think you Madness here. The Lele slot. No, that's a web, yeah. So that's a safe play for my opponent. I'm not surprised. If I if Lele lives, I'm in in trouble. But I think that Kyogre should be able to knock out Lele here. Yeah. Okay. Then we play an uh, interesting mind game here, and it comes down to: Do I tailwind on a Kyogre protect and an electro web, or does my opponent go for a? Uh, it's a 50 50. <laughs> oh no, I got this wrong. Um, I either have to Psy Shock here. Actually, even. I don't think the Kyra protects. I don't think it does. I'm gonna Psy Shock in uh, Origin Pulse. But I think the Kyra is just gonna attack here. I think you just uh, web here. Yeah. Alright. So. I think it comes down to do you Water Spout or Origin Pulse because this is going to decide it here if you Water Spout or Origin Pulse. I'm guessing you're just going to Origin Pulse. It's a safer option, but if you don't have Origin Pulse, I think you're forced to click Water Spout here. And that would change the dynamic huge. Psy Shock, ton of damage. It is Origin Pulse though. We don't dodge either, so I think we just lose here. Ah, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Hmm. I think I know where I messed up. Yeah, I know where I messed up. Ah, good game. I know where I messed up though. The when I didn't when I sky dropped instead of going for a wild charge. If I went for a raw wild charge, I think I won the game there because I knocked out the Lunala. Since I went for sky drop being passive, because I thought maybe my opponent would try to uh, switch in, uh, bring out something like Kyo, my opponent's own Kyo, to try to get offensive momentum. Uh, I was a little bit uh, too passive, I think, in my damage output. Um, I think I probably should have took, taken the double knockout too, because once I sold out Tailwind, I was able to bring out Lunala plus Lele on similar turns, or at least I got Lele in a free switch and I could side shock. I completely forgot the Lunala doesn't carry protect, so that changed my game plan immensely, because I was thinking I could protect Lunala the following turn, sack Kyogre, bring in Lele, and then I could go for side shocks, which was which would have been great, but unfortunately we didn't have that as a case. So unfortunately we couldn't go for that. But yeah, um, should have knocked out the Lunala when I had the option to. Uh, otherwise, I think the first few turns were in that great. It was definitely a winnable game by a long shot. My opponent did play well in the end game. Mm, yeah, I should have capitalized on trying to knock out the uh, getting knockouts faster. And try because Coco was a big problem, unfortunately, to our team as well. But hope that everyone enjoyed today's episode of VGC 2019 Back to Battles. If you did enjoy, please leave a like down below, show some support, as well as you can check out the rest of my stuff down below in the description, such as my social media, the size of my channel, and all that other good stuff. If you want to support me in this video, you can leave a like down below, share it with your friends, and leave a comment down below. It really helps. If you want to go an extra mile there is my patreon and twitch i'm really thankful to the people who support me there and if you do want to help me out you can go check that out too but otherwise if you do want to try out this team there is a qr code in the description down below alongside graham's youtube channel the creator of this team so if you want to go check him out in the description down below but otherwise i think that's pretty much it next time we'll be continuing to use this team and hopefully we'll be able to get a few more wins with this team but otherwise thank you all for tuning in have a great day people until we battle again i'll catch you all later